I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to take a look at Barbie, the red back spider who lives in that metal container. It's our winter solstice, so it's our shortest day of the year in Australia. I wonder what Barbie is up to. I think it's time to lock and load. The beep has been removed from this video. And as always, this video is highly educational. Beep, beep, beep. To remain highly educational, let's take a look at my redback spider control chart. The peak redback spider season, I always say, kicks off around about Halloween, and we've got the summer months after that. But today it's the 21st of June, and normally these spiders are quite dormant at this time, which is winter time. Finding a redback spider around this time of year is actually quite difficult, but finding a redback spider around this time of year is very simple. And maybe this is very important to look at in relation to Barbie. Barbie was moved to her home on the 20th of January 2020 and then after that she laid up egg sacs on these dates here. I removed them before they matured and hatched so she was quite a prolific egg sac layer. Just taking note there's about a week between each egg sac being laid up and up here one egg sac takes between four to eight weeks to hatch let's call it six weeks it's quite variable and if one female lays roughly four egg sacs well she can deliver a thousand nightmare redback spiderlings. Lovely. That's the educational component of this video. I can dump that rubbish now. Before I crack into Barbie's home here, I tell you what, it's a beautiful sunny winter day. Just let me get a temperature check on the side of a home here. It feels very warm. We'll get Celsius first. Wow, it's quite warm. 35 degrees point two. And if I press that, it'll give us Fahrenheit. There you go. 95.4 degrees Fahrenheit. She's cooking in there. So if it's a nice sunny winter day, I tell you what, that's a nice warm, cozy place to hang out. I do notice she's got some very fine web underneath here, but it's not as extensive as you would see during the spider season. Mm, yeah, it's coming, coming out here. You can see a few danglies in it there, but it's, it's very, very hard to see. The last time I looked in here, and I will open this very carefully initially, there were two spiders in here. There was... Barbie, I always think I'm going to say Bindi. This is Barbie. Bindi was my other spider. Okay, up on the lid there, all I can see is a little bit of snail activity. And I'm wondering whether the other spider is hanging around. What I do now is I actually put this under here and it helps me see inside. Just having the first look down there, I can see Barbie. And I believe there is a smaller spider down the bottom. There's actually a third spider down in the lower part as well. It looks like a little tiny red back. That third spider is down there, incredibly small. I, I do believe that's a red back. Maybe once I see it up on the computer, I'll know more. One thing I've noticed is Barbie hasn't made a move since I've been fiddling around here. I did take some photographs with my iPhone, and you'll be looking at those now with flash on and also flash off. And the very lower one is, I believe, a female redback spider, but as for the other one, I, I can't quite tell yet. It's that one there I'm not sure about. Sometimes you make the spiders move, it'll tell you something about them. Oh, it's just done the bolt and it's dropped to the bottom. If I'm lucky, the spider's dropped into here. I also know there's some ants getting about, so the spiders better be a bit wary at the moment. No, I can't see that spider there. I'll do an internal temperature check of Barbie's home. Mmm, crikey, nice and crispy warm there for winter, I'd say. Yes, that's a good, nice high Fahrenheit temperature as well. Now, Barbie hasn't moved at all since I've been looking inside her winter wonderland here, and I'm just gonna present the tweezer to her just to see how she re reacts. And she's probably a little bit sleepy because it's a sleepy time of year. I'm seeing if she's gonna do like a back leg action thing with the tweezers. Oh, there you go. Oh, crikey, she's wide awake. Scary stuff. Yes, um, she's gone straight into I want to have you for dinner mode. Hmm, not so sleepy after all. So maybe a vital lesson here is even in winter time, these spiders can be prepped for anything. Whoa, she's coming for me. I think I've disturbed her enough in her winter slumbers although she's not very sleepy from what I can see in the way she reacts to them tweezies. Ooh, go Barbie go. Oh well, I'll let Barbie go back to her winter rest. She is basically six months old. Okay that's a six month old red back spider. I will just very carefully put Barbie's lid back up on the top here nice and gently without disturbing her too much because Barbie is my wonderful pet spider. 
So Barbie is going to ride out winter time in that wonderful home there which is actually nice and warm and give it a couple months she'll be getting ready for spring and she'll be gearing up to lay up plenty more egg sacs this coming summer. Just out of curiosity there is another spider lure next to Barbie. Let's take a look what's happened in there. This is one of the nice really cheap traps I got at Kmart Australia. It's got some winter weeds going on under there. Because it's winter time where I live I wonder what's going on in here. Okay, it looks like we've got a whole family of snails going on in there. Crikey's, that's going to really make mummy happy. I better put that back down and hope a red back takes over. So there you go, apart from red back spiders, you can also breed snails in these things. That's a very rare sight, a jet aircraft going over. Very few of those these days. Even though it's winter time, I keep an eye out for the dangerous spiders that are getting about. Now, on our front driveway, there's this piece of concrete here. And I noticed some web here that looks very, very suspiciously like a redback spider web. Going by the scale of that web, I would say it belongs to a very, very young redback spider. It's very fine, very small web. It is making me investigate further. I'm very curious to see what's going on here. I also notice ants getting about in this area. Hmm, dangerous for redbacks. I think it's time to lock and load. Well, if there is a red back here, it's going to be very small. And if I move this around a bit, maybe we'll see something. Well, I can see uh, whatever that is crawling away. I can see some leaf litter here and who knows what's hanging out amongst that. On that piece of concrete there, there's something quite curious going on there. It's a couple of snails. It looks like some millipedes. I hope I'm right there some strange sort of weird feeding frenzy now what worries me is I saw a web I didn't like but I'm not seeing a spider mm. I am seeing some pony ants around if I remove that there's a pony ant right there look at that there hey Ooh. so if there is a red back here I'll tell you what this is fairly dangerous territory I'm seeing lots of things that like to take out red back spiders just in that zone there but you know what, it's always best to be safe than sorry. Good night, little sister. Dusted. This zone is now clear of deadly spider hazards and just about anything else that was alive there.